South Korea is moving closer to deploying a next-generation unmanned aerial system designed to fly alongside its KF-21 Boramae fighter jet, aiming to expand the Republic of Korea Air Force's ROC AF air combat capabilities through human-machine teaming. A recent demonstration video released by Korea Aerospace Industries Kai, showcased a conceptual air combat mission involving the KF-21 escorting a formation of stealth drones launched from a transport aircraft. In the simulation, four drones, referred to as unmanned wingmen, were seen accompanying the fighter jet, identifying and attacking enemy targets, while the KF-21 operated from a safer distance. The unmanned aircraft, which feature low observable shaping, are part of what Kai calls a low observable loyal wingman system. The drone minimizes radar detection through its stealth design and is intended to operate in formation with the KF-21, the company said in a presentation aired on national broadcaster SBS. During the animation, the KF-21 pilot is seen issuing a strike command, prompting the drones to advance and neutralize enemy air defenses. The pilot interacts with a mission monitor to direct the unmanned systems, which destroy hostile radar installations before the manned jet engages in a bombing run. The scenario highlights the growing emphasis on using drones to absorb risk and break through heavily defended airspace. The demonstration is based on a technology demonstrator version of the stealth drone, easily recognizable by its white body and red highlighted wings and tail surfaces. According to the report, the system is currently undergoing ground-based development work focused on evaluating aerodynamic surfaces, electro-optical surveillance payloads, and stealth characteristics. The unmanned wingman program began in 2021 and forms a key part of South Korea's broader effort to integrate artificial intelligence and autonomous operations into its air power doctrine. Officials believe the drone system will complete development by 2027 with operational deployment in joint missions with the KF-21 projected around 2030. The KF-21 itself is South Korea's first domestically developed supersonic fighter and is being positioned as a competitive option on the global export market. Pairing it with stealth drones is expected to enhance both its operational utility and its appeal to foreign buyers. Kai believes that the addition of loyal wingman drones will multiply the combat power of the KF-21 inches while providing new strategic options for air operations. While still in the early stages, the program reflects a growing international trend toward distributed, manned-unmanned operations, similar to efforts underway in the United States, Australia, and Europe. South Korea's approach emphasizes AI integration, cost-effective platforms, and rapid deployment timelines, elements seen as essential for responding to modern threats.